Good morning. Why have they not caught this guy? Well, I grabbed a little bit of footage from Pennsylvania to show you. When you think of Pennsylvania, you don't really think about how dense their forests are there. Like, you could hide anything for a long time in these forests. They sprawl for miles and miles in every direction. It's quite beautiful there. I've been there, it's gorgeous, especially in the fall. This is some of their forest with the creeks that go through. Absolutely gorgeous. The shades of green there are amazing. They remind me of Alaska in the summer. This is a little bit of some of the, the woods there. Um, lots and lots of creeks, lots of rivers. Even the cities are very well lined with trees. It's quite pretty. It's not like New York. Even though they're so close together, it's nothing like New York. So they still have a ton of trees all through their neighborhoods, like you see here. This is Pennsylvania. Just gorgeous. So you can hide pretty easily. You can get all over the place just hiding between buildings and all these trees. There are forests right up next to neighborhoods and not to mention all the cornfields everywhere. So he is using all this foliage to get around and hide. And I don't know what they're going to have to do, but they need to think of something, you know? Now this doesn't explain how he got through this perimeter. Look at this footage of the perimeter that they had up around Longwood Gardens. How did he get through this? This is pretty crazy. They had a pretty solid perimeter, although there was quite a, quite a bit of distance between some of the vehicles. So he had to have just, I don't know, leapt across the street or jumped from trees to trees. I don't know how he did it, but this is the perimeter that he got through night before last. I'm just going to let it play all the way through to show you how long the perimeter was. Some of the vehicles were really close together and some of them, as you see right there, were pretty far apart. I don't see how he did it and had lights and sirens and all their high beams on. But this is the perimeter that he somehow got through. It's crazy. He's a ninja. But people need to remember he might be this little bitty guy and people are making fun of him for being so little. And that's great. You know, I guess comedy helps in a lot of circumstances. However, keep in mind, he did kill this beautiful young girl, a mother. And he's out there right now roaming the Pennsylvania neighborhoods and forests and fields and nobody knows where he's at. They really need to get it together. So here is the tip line again, 717-562-2987. Last seen wearing those dark pants and a green hoodie. He has a baseball hat. Um, I'm going to zoom in because I am interested in the items that he apparently stole. Let me show you that. So it looks like he, he got a pack of water. I see a blue and white umbrella, so people should be looking out for that, especially since it's been raining a lot. Is that an ice scraper? There's a long black thing. I'm not really sure what that is. Tell me what you think, because he's got these items now with him. He's he's turning into, you know, like survivalist mode or something. He's trying to outlast the police and get to I don't know where, but he apparently has help as well. I know his sister was arrested by ICE, but 
Who else is helping him? How did he get through that perimeter? Was he alone? Did he strap himself underneath a vehicle somewhere else? I don't get it. But here again is that tip line. If anybody sees anything, please call it in. Day 12, y'all. Day 12. And I'm really, I'm thinking about his victim and her children and her family. He really does need to be found right away. Thanks for watching.